Right, our step one's done. We've drilled about a hundred odd holes in here, give or take a few. Some short, some long. And we'll uh, be back in a day or two when the cracking gear arrives and we'll mix it up and uh, fill them up. And it should break. Hi, first job for the week's done. Just put a hundred kilos of uh, an expando into these rocks in this pool here just to give the guy with the excavator a bit of a start and when he's dug these out we'll probably um, blast the ones below it since we've got a good pile of soil here to cover with for a change uh, we'll see how this looks in a few days I think it will look very broken thanks for watching Typical of the trauma you face doing these sort of jobs. You know, you've got a centimetre or so on each side to get through. If the ground's slightly off, you know, it's off level, the machine leans over and you end up scraping the fence or scraping the hot water service or something stupid like that. Every inch of these sort of jobs is a battle. And that's one of the reasons why it costs more than people expect. Because there's just trouble at every turn. And what can you do? You know, like the rollover protection's gonna hit on the fence here. Probably. It's unbelievably difficult. come back and turn around go back backwards all right back in this pool job in Pasco Vale about 10 days after we filled the holes with the expanding chemical cracking agent it appears to have done a fairly good job uh, now we're just going to start pulling it out the little machine which is the biggest machine we can fit in here and it's been quite a challenge just getting it in here with only like a centimetre to spare I'm working with Brett from Rangers Excavation today he's a local used to be my neighbour actually there's that We've got a little breaker too uh, it's going to be interesting stay tuned
set the poop pipe. Brett's had a bit of a poke around now with the breaker, loosened it all up and just starting to pull out what we can. The excavation's going well. Got a few pieces of oversize here that we managed to drag out of the hole with the little machine, but they're too big to load in the dumper. So I'm using the plugs and feathers to uh, reduce their size. Uh, just done that one over there already. And a few pieces in the hole that were too big. Give it a bit of a look how it works. quite a big piece to break with the plugs and feathers.
number two, four hold. Here we go, biggest shot of the job. The only thing that's slightly technical about this, it's a 12 hole shot, control row and echelon type hook up and timing. And even a bit of a pro split up there. Let's try and get that bit off parallel with the wall. So here we go. 12 hole shot. Getting rid of some material. Got a little Wacker Newson track dumper, which is really um, the duck's guts for this sort of work. Wings hands down. Oh, that's a big rock. Oh, oh. a good little carrier for a miniature track drill, wouldn't it? So it's got a Yanmar engine in it. Very interesting, little Yanmar diesel. The dump truck's full of rock at the front. He's going to take that down to uh, Alex Fraser's and they'll crush it and uh, sell it back to someone who's crushed rock. So no more loads going out in the little tipper. We'll just put the ripper on 
and have a bit of a tear into this area here which was uh, the last shop. We'll dig that out and see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't rain, it's looking pretty young. Pretty smashed up. Oh, shots. Firing. Next shot there's just two holes. Firing. Another two hole shot. Stand by.
All right, just gonna split this oversize with the plugs and feathers so we can get it out the hole. <coughs> Big split this one. Yeah, the guy didn't seem too concerned that I cancelled at all. He oh, really? almost relieved. Oh. When you're doing this, obviously he's not ready for you. It sounds like it, yeah. So when you're doing this, you've got to make sure that the rock doesn't fall on you. Yeah. So you don't stand in a way that's likely to fall and get ready to... In case it pops. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Hi again. It's time to make some video because the sun's finally peaked out over the house and it's starting to warm up. We've had our coldest day in uh, four and a half years today. Coldest morning, that is. It's down to zero C and uh, makes everything a bit more interesting. The uh, airline hoses are very stiff and won't bend. The uh, plastic uh, delay clips that I'm using here, connector debts, you just about wear your thumbs out trying to clip them because they're so cold. But anyway, I spent a lot of the time just breaking oversize this morning with the plugs and feathers so it can be loaded in the little track dumper, which is just an extra, you know, time consuming task that you don't count on but uh, this bit here that I've got loaded up has been fairly troublesome it's quite deep so uh, we're giving it a shot cheers <coughs> There's the poop pipe. Am I going to break it? Probably am. And a bit off over here as well. Four hole shot. The moment of truth. It'll be busted to smithereens, just worried about this one on the side a bit. Just wonder how uh, good it's going to be broken. Good, it's broken good. Look out for the poop pipe. Oh, you got it. Mr. Plod looking for us. There it is. 
shot for the day, just three holes with dead cord. starting to come out at last. It's been splitting with the plugs and feathers, the little ones. Look down there, it's looking good. 